Number 25, our universe arose from the collision of two or more universes. Unlike the Big Bang Theory, where the universe began from a singularity, the ekpyrotic model of the universe suggests that it arose from the collision of two multidimensional worlds in space. This means that aside from our universe, there's at least one other out there, and that our twin universe is separated from us by a distance that is allegedly less than the diameter of an atom. Number 24, white holes. There's black holes that suck everything in, and then there are white holes that supposedly spit everything out. According to some scientists, if white holes exist, then they can be linked to black holes in the exact manner we just described. Number 23, we kill the universe every time we look at it. Professor Lawrence Krauss once stated that we kill the universe every time we look at dark energy, which, as we know, makes up about 75% of the known universe. According to the theory, we cause it to become more and more unstable and reduce its lifespan as we continually observe it, although negligibly. Number 22, the universe is a hologram. This isn't the theory suggesting that we live in a computer program. We'll get to that one in a minute. But this one suggests that the universe we live in is just a hologram made by the universe itself, aka an anonymous hologram creator. It tries to explain that what we see when we look at the sky is just a wall containing an image of galaxies and stars. Number 21, we live in a matrix universe. Although we're all familiar with the movie, scientists have also theorized that humans live in a computer program. These scientists believe that computers are the ones that simulate our consciousness and form what we consider reality. Number 20, a universe with many black holes has several baby universes. This theory arose from the theory that we're a child of a black hole. The idea is that when matter is pulled into a black hole, it becomes so dense that the hole spits it out and forms a universe from it. Remember white holes? Number 19, we create a universe every time we make a decision. This theory takes a different and more metaphysical approach to the theory of the omniverse, or having many worlds. It states that we give birth to a new universe every time we make a decision, since that's how we create reality. Number 18, our universe is constantly smashing into a neighboring universe. According to the clashing brains theory, our universe is a membrane flowing in higher dimensional space and constantly smashing into a neighboring universe. This theory leads to the idea that a new Big Bang is produced every now and then, which in turn leads to even more universes. Number 17, space-time is a superfluid substance. The theory that space-time flows with zero friction is considered to be one of the most bizarre theories of the century. According to physicists Pavel Mazur and George Chaplin, if space-time is superfluid, then that means that the rotation of the universe causes superfluid space-time to scatter with vortices, and that those vortices give birth to galaxies, causing the never-ending expansion of the universe. And don't worry if you didn't get that, because most of us probably won't. Number 16, universes continue to evolve, and those with the most black holes dominate the multiverse. A scientist once theorized that when matter is compressed to extreme densities at the center of a black hole, it leads to the creation of a baby universe. These universes continue to evolve, make a lot of other black holes, and dominate the multiverse. Number 15, the universe we see is hospitable, otherwise we would not be here to observe it. The anthropic principle states that every universe in the multiverse has an almost infinite range of different properties and physical laws, and that we're here because the universe where we are is hospitable. The theory was eventually dismissed by some as being non-science. Number 14. The liver circulates blood while the heart circulates the vital spirit. Second century physician Galen theorized that it was the liver that circulated blood, bile, and phlegm, while it was the heart that circulated the vital spirit. He said that the blood is consumed by the organs as fuel, and it moves in a back-and-forth motion. Number 13. Diseases are caused by the imbalances of the four humors. For hundreds of years, doctors attributed diseases not to germs, but to the imbalance of what they called the four humors. These humors, or temperaments, were first proposed by Hippocrates and referred to the different amounts of four supposed body fluids in any given person. Number 12. Lambs grow like weeds. Yes, you got the title right. The ancient Greeks were the first to have the crazy idea that a lamb could grow right out of the ground, with a stem attached to its navel. Pliny the Elder later mentioned it, and Europeans picked up the idea again in the 14th century. Number 11, phrenology. Read your friend's head like a crystal ball. By taking measurements of the skull, phrenology's founder, Franz Joseph Gall, argued around the turn of the 19th century that you could determine a person's personality, traits, propensities, and intelligence. We bet he made a lot of money. Number 10, Life on the Sun. Although today we know the Sun is basically an enormous nuclear furnace, in the 1700s people thought differently. Even William Herschel, the discoverer of Uranus, thought that sunspots were actually mountains peeking through the layer of clouds. Number 9. 
homeopathy. Basically, the art of scamming sick people out of their money. Homeopathy isn't even a scientific theory. The only reason we put it on this list is because it's a sham and the people who practice it claim that it's science. Don't get sucked in. Number eight, fires made of an elephant called phlogiston. In 1667, a physicist named Johann Joachim Becker proposed to add another element to the already existing list of chemical elements on Earth, phlogiston. According to Becker, all combustible elements contain this stuff and release it when they burn. Today, Fogestan is only existing in history books. Number seven, alchemy. It was basically the pursuit of creating gold, or rather creating gold out of other substances. The only problem was that the alchemist needed to find the Philosopher's Stone, which was the magical key to not only initiating this transformation, but also to eternal life. It remains unfound. Number six, the seeds of life were brought to Earth through meteorites and asteroids. Also called the panspermia theory, this old belief suggests that life actually exists throughout the universe and that it just ended up on Earth by some sort of space rock. Number five, life on Earth started from garbage. Often considered one of the silliest theories ever, the garbage theory states that the origins of life on Earth can be traced back to billions of years ago when aliens dumped their trash on our planet. Number four, spontaneous generation. According to Aristotle, a creature could arise out of an inanimate or formerly animate object as a maggot grows from rotting meat. As crazy as it sounds, people believe this straight up until the 20th century with some pseudoscientific experiments supposedly proving that mice could grow out of old laundry. Number three, the whole universe is a computer. We've already discussed the theory that states we live in a matrix-like computer environment. However, the computer is the universe theory states that the universe itself is the computer in which we live. In essence, black holes, galaxies, stars, and everything else act as circuits and processors of a gargantuan motherboard where the most fundamental component of the universe is basically a bit. Yes, literally the same Boolean piece of data your computer uses to print this page. Number two, the universe works like a mechanical clock. According to the clockwork universe theory, the universe is just like a mechanical clock controlled by a supreme being who uses the laws of physics as its gears to make everything in the world determinable. Unlike other scientific theories involving God, this theory limits his role to just setting the universe into motion. However, this theory was later contradicted by quantum theory, which basically allows for free will. Number one, zoo theory. The zoo theory suggests that aliens exist but would never make their presence known to humanity, so they cannot exert an influence on human development. This theory suggests that we're like animals being observed in a zoo, being monitored by aliens who would not make contact with us until we reach a certain level of advancement. If you liked the video you just saw, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by using the orange button in the top right. And don't forget to go check out our website at list25.com for more awesome lists.